Well, I didn't get Denise at the beginning because we were trying to decide if I wanted to wear a jacket or not. And she did. And I did, and I'm glad I did because it's... I'm perfectly fine with one jacket. Yeah. She had a sweatshirt on yeah. thing and then whatever. You know, when you get old, That's what your blood is. gets thin. I didn't want to say that. Out loud. <laughs> As she just did. Uh, sort of. Well, we both have plans today, but not together. Nope. So. Oh, well. Okay, talk to you guys in a oh, bit. We did two miles. Oh, yeah, we did. Well, I will. Well, good morning. Today is Monday, October 5th. And we have birthdays. I had to write them down because we have a lot of birthdays today. Today is Ange over at Smack Vision. Today's Ange's birthday. I think she's 42. She's still a spring chicken. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ange. The brat. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Oh, she's doing so great on her weight loss journey, too. I'm just, I'm so proud of her. I really am proud of you. Have a really great birthday, Ange. You're still a brat, though. Um, it's also Amy over at Ennis for Nurse. It's Amy's birthday, too. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Amy. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. And it's Henry Wolfen, W O L F I N. Henry gets a song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Henry. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Or is it Henry? But I said Henry. It's also Mary Vitro's birthday. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Mary, happy birthday to you, cha cha cha. And definitely we will always remember, it's her birthday, she's so sweet to me all the time. Not that all you guys are, but Vicki, Vicki Vidal, 57, Vidal 57, Vicki Riddle, Vicki it's your birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Vicky. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Oh, so many birthdays. On the 5th of October. Jeez, oh Pete. Um What are my plans for today? Hmm. Well my other pair of glasses, my spare pair of glasses came in, so I have to go pick those up. Um the one pair of jeans I got, the black jeans, I think they were mismarked. Because they say an 18, and the black ones, they say 18, and I compared them to the other size 18s that fit, all of them, and they're about that much smaller, so I'm really thinking they're probably a 16, because I couldn't even get them up over my butt, which would be at the next size down for me, so I'm just going to go exchange them for an 18, and... I compared them, I know because somebody had told me that the, uh, even though it's an 18 women's, because I was saying about how they cost a little bit more, that they cut them a little bit different. So I took that in mind and I compared them to the other jeans that I have that are just an 18, that aren't an 18W. And uh, they're still about two inches smaller in the waist. So I do think they were probably mismarked. So I'm just going to go switch them. And then I have to get some more bird food, so I'm going to go there to get some bird food. And then I have a Zoom call with my cousin Lynn in Toronto today at 6 o'clock. So I have that to look forward to. And uh, just starting off my week. I, I'm in a really good frame of mind. I really am in a good frame of mind. I um, think that I just have to face the fact that I'm like a turtle, you know. But you know what? They eventually cross the finish line. They really eventually do. And so I, as long as I... Stop putting so much pressure on myself to reach that magic number because it's just, it's not worth all the stress. You know, I was watching Robbie over at Frecky Fit Wolf and he was saying that your body gives off a chemical that, uh, like a flight or, fight or flight mode that, you know, sometimes does something to your metabolism. And so I'm, I'm thinking that's, you know, like putting so much stress in, on that, you know, different, what really, what difference does it mean? It's just, I mean, it's a sense of accomplishment, I realize that, and I really have been striving it for 40 years, but um, 
just going to focus on remaining eating healthy and uh, enjoying it because you know lately I have not been enjoying it it's you know even my berries as much as I love my berries I have not been enjoying them because I've just been putting too much emphasis on food and I'm obsessed with food again and that's not an obsession that I should have uh, I'm just grateful that I'm not on some fancy fad diet you know like that you can only eat bananas every single day well I eat a banana every day but like you know you know what I mean that that's all you're gonna eat are bananas like a banana pudding or oh, banana pudding sounds good but anyway, you know what I'm saying. It's just like I, I try to get a balance of all like proteins and carbs and you know fats and fruits and vegetables and things like that. So that's that's what I'm just going to concentrate on. I'm just going to concentrate on eating right. Uh, I ate right yesterday. I had a good day. So uh, my Saturdays is what I'm going to have to make up for all week. Is it worth it? No, it really wasn't worth it. It was just not worth it. Because no matter what I ate, it didn't satisfy what I wanted. And so I had to eat something else to see if that would satisfy it. And you know, like, there's there's no food that's going to satisfy an emotion, really. It's just, it might for a hot minute make you feel a little bit better. But then I had so much guilt afterwards and disappointment and shame. And it, it's, was it worth it? No, it really, it was not worth it. Not in the least little bit was it worth it. So, I, you know, and I think a lot of times... I set myself up for disappointment. I, I you know, like I, I, I just put so much focus on something that, that when it doesn't happen, I, I disappoint myself and I get mad. I get so mad. I get, I get mad at the world <laughs> or something. I get mad at everybody, not you guys. But I mean, I just get mad at the whole thing. I was like, why can't I eat what I want to eat? Why can so and so eat that and still lose weight? And why do I just eat that and then I gain weight? Why is, you know, why, why, why? You know, it's like my big question. Why, why, why? But uh, I just, um, I have to figure it out. I really do. And I have to stop setting myself up for disappointment because, you know, if you set your bars too high, you are going to disappoint yourself. And, and then what, what are you accomplishing? You're just like setting yourself back. And I don't want to do that anymore. I'm just tired of setting myself up. I'm going to get there. I know I'm going to get there. It's just a matter of taking my time to get there, enjoying myself while I'm getting there. Uh, I do tend to do a little bit better in the colder months, which is surprising because usually most people do better in the summer. But then in the summer, I always wonder how do you do better because there's barbecues and there's cake and there's pop and chips and you know like parties and stuff like that. But uh, it's easier in the colder months because you have more clothes to cover yourself up. Uh, you can wear those loose-fitting sweats and you know flowy shirts and sweatshirts and hoodies all my favorites but uh, I bought a bunch of hoodies and flannel shirts that just fit not just fit but they're the right size but they're not too big so I don't have room to to grow in them if you know what I mean so I, I'm going to be comfortable in my flannel shirts and my hoodies over the winter um, I'm still gonna wear sweatpants you know around the house I don't go out too much in my sweatpants usually not to say that I don't ever but usually I don't but uh, a jean is always gonna tell you how you're doing <laughs> it really is so uh, that's my plan stop focusing on the number start realizing it's gonna be slow process and every year I get a little bit older and every year it's gonna make it a little bit harder it's never gonna be impossible it's gonna be a little bit more difficult each year I have to face that fact and uh, get on with my life, enjoying it, and not focusing so much on food and a number on a scale. So anyway, I'm going to uh, insert the clip from my retro. I'll have to find one. I haven't looked yet. And I'll put it right about here and then get on with my day. So here's a flashback of Sandy. And then the next time you see me, it will probably be in the car. Talk to you guys in a bit. Well, good morning. Today is Wednesday, February 1st. January's in the past. Another month. Um, I, um, I'm on my way to pick up Birdie for water aerobics. It's kind of nice out. It's 31 degrees. It's supposed to go up to 36. We got a little bit more snow last night. And the sun is out. I don't know if you can see it. But it's so nice.
Breakfast is going to be some oatmeal and fruit and a slice of toast. Today is Monday, October 5th. I started my day with a prayer. My quote is, it's going to be a journey. It's not a sprint to reach your goal. Take your time. Uh, so seven point breakfast. Um, I have 23 points because I'm on the blue plan. Four points for my half a cup of oatmeal. One point for a quarter cup of 2% milk. Zero for my egg, berries, banana, and my tea. One point for uh, an Aunt Millie's 35 calorie toast. And one point for a uh, laughing cow cheese. Seven points. I still have 16 points left for my dinner. Okay, my 13 point dinner. It's um, 10 points for the pizza, zero for the salad and the tea, and three points for my Olive Garden dressing. Still have three points left. Well, here I told you I was going to take you with me today, and I forgot. We went to Kohl's where they didn't have the size pants that I wanted, but they had Denise's pants that she wanted, so I switched them, so she got a deal. So I got the pants at Kohl's. They didn't have the sweatshirt I wanted. I wanted to get one, something similar to this in purple, but they didn't have it. And then I went to Lowe's and got my bird food. Went and got my new glasses. See up close. The purple. And then, um, Came home, fed my birds, ate my breakfast, did my Zoom call, had my dinner with that little slice of pizza. Ten points for that slice. <laughs> but you know, it was worth it. It really was. It was really good. And my salad. Yeah, Jim doesn't eat salad. He'll occasionally eat salad. So then when I was, after I finished eating, he said, you know, you had enough salad there for two people. And I go, why, did you want some? He's well, not now. He didn't want any at the beginning either. But the salad was very filling, so. Anyway. I don't really have any plans for tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to be doing anything. Another day just like today. But another day like today would be good because look, I have three points under. Three points under I've saved for my uh, today. So I have three points carrying over. <sighs> I got a long way to go. I got a really got a lot of, did a lot of damage on Saturday. But I'm not weighing myself until Saturday, so we'll all be apprised, as they say in my family. <laughs> um, Christy, when she was little, she could never say surprised. She always went, apprised, I'm apprised. So we always picked up on that. <laughs> so um, anyway, just going to watch some TV tonight. My big brother is not on supposedly till 10 o'clock, but I have it set up from 10 to midnight because the football game's at 7, and I've never seen a football game that ended in three hours. So I'm going to watch that probably about 11 o'clock. And then um, that's it because I don't watch Dancing with the Stars anymore. So I'm done with that. So maybe I'll catch up on some YouTube videos. How's that sound? Okay. If you're new to my, oh, you know what? I'm going to leave a link down below that Joan over at Joan's Pointed Plate is doing a challenge, a seven-day challenge, a healthy challenge starting next Monday. So you should go over to her channel <clears throat> and she'll give you all the information that you need for it. I think it's a quick, like, four or five-minute video. I'm joining in on the challenge. I need something to kick my butt, get me getting moving on. And I didn't show you Kylie today. Kylie lost another pound. I think she lost 1.6 this week. She's on, she's on a roll. She's, she's going to be my inspiration here. So she's doing really good. I'll try to show her tomorrow. I'll remember to show her in the morning and we'll find out exactly. Because I think she's pretty close to 20 pounds, I'm thinking. But she's doing really well. I'm really proud of her. So, okay. That's it. Stay safe. Talk to you guys tomorrow.